Welcome to it. And thank you so much for being a part of the show. Sitting next to me is a man whose name will be written in history books, not only in South Africa, but in languages that he can't even speak. Because I'm very sure he can't speak French. But they know his name. I listened to the ads that just played now and I thought to myself, you know, we do things so differently here on this show. The Durban July is coming up. Besides Legs of Thunder, I don't know a horse. And I'm not even sure if Legs of Thunder was a... Legs of Thunder was a story. Yeah, was, what was that story? Donald, do you know Legs of Thunder? Uh, not really. You've never heard of Legs of Thunder? I had the name, but um, I don't... It was a horse. Mm-hmm. But I think it's it, 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 a story. Do you in July, will I? No, no, I've never, I've never. I've never. Do you know any horses' names? No, nothing. Yeah, what one? Nothing, zero. No, I'm telling you now. Yeah. Timmy, let's plan it. Durban, July. Let's get into, let's get into, we, we can tell a story. We can tell a story about horses and we'll do exactly that. The voice that you're hearing, I know it sounds like somebody who could be on radio because of, uh, you know, his voice. Uh. But it's not that. <laughs> it is South African wheelchair tennis star. And I can say that proudly because it's your favorite show on the week um, of Sports Night Amplified with Andy and the Mighty Metro FM last week. We told the story uh, and did a, a and bid a farewell to Clive Barker. Dr. Kumalo came on and uh, and uh, told us about his last moments and the conversations they had with Clive Barker in their last interaction. It was a very touching story that had Dr. Kumalo very emotional on the phone. Tonight, we tell a story of a young man who had a dream to be a football star. Listen, to be a soccer star might have vanquished, might have vanished, but he still kept on his dream and it's his drive and his ank that we're going for today. Tonight, we find out what happened, what propelled him to be the athlete that he is today. Born in Mohaping and Zanin, Limpopo. He wasn't born with a disability to my knowledge. Something that he got later on. We'll get into that because in order to be a Roland Garros champion in the quads, that story has to stem from deep. Donald, I was with Khotatsu Monchane last night I got to hold the plate, I got to see it, and I got to congratulate her. And I'm so happy that I get to do the same with you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I mean, we spoke to you when you were in France and you had just won. Uh-huh. Has it settled in yet? Has it, uh, I'm, I'm a champion. Nah, yeah. I mean, uh, it, took, it took a couple of days, or it's a sink in, but you know. Yeah, now I can I can I can feel it, and I know that whatever that just happened a week ago, uh, a, a two weeks ago, it's, it's 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 actually a massive uh, achievement that um, I, I just I just did. So, it's in key. For those that are, are are not tennis fans or don't follow tennis, how big is Roland Garros? Oh, I mean, Roland Garros, it's 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 a it's a big tournament. It's a Grand Slam. It's 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 the the tournaments that everyone I mean every player when they start picking up a racket, they they wanna uh, they wanna see themselves ending up uh, playing in 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 Roland Garros. So it's it's actually a big deal. It's a very big deal. Mm-hmm. It's a very big deal. It's such a big deal that the minister of sport wakes up in the middle of the night to go welcome Yuko Airport. I mean, I was, I was not, I was not <laughs> expecting him, to be honest, because because uh, TSA planned uh, uh, the the to receive me in the morning, but you know I couldn't make it because of uh, weather and all that. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, I'm just um, my team is just gonna be there to to receive me and all that. So it was actually amazing finding him there, uh, receiving me back. No, I mean it was a beautiful thing. Uh, he is the champion, of course, in the quads of the Roland Garros. He sits across from me now. Donald is with us, Rampadi, South African wheelchair tennis star. But let's go back. Let's educate South Africans because there's a new uh, breed of South Africans that are only meeting you now. You know, there's news about Donald, and they're like, "Oh, who's Donald?" That's what I read, Mike. It's not that Donald. <laughs> this Donald here, who is he? You grew up in Tanin. Can you give me yes. Where does a boy growing up in Mohaping even have a dream to play tennis? I mean, I, I've been to Zanin. I don't remember seeing a court at some point. You know, I can imagine when you were growing up, were there courts? Where does the dream to play tennis come from? Uh, so uh, my, my story of, of like uh, studying tennis is actually a funny one. Because um, <coughs> uh, to be honest, growing up, I've never saw myself uh, uh, as a tennis player. I always thought that, you know, tennis, it's, it's, a, it's a wide sport. 
Yeah. So yeah, mm-hmm. I, I was I was I was actually playing playing soccer uh, growing up before I could uh, could get sick and all that. So you know. Um, so you were a soccer player. Yeah. I, and I hear a very decent one. Eh, I get to go with them. What's the positive? I need to go. Striker. Yeah. Ah, I don't know. <laughs> you know, everyone says they played soccer. <laughs> Everyone's like, ah, nana ko dala ko PSL. I, I, I was good, uh, the, and the reason, the reason why I'm saying I was good, cause it's, it's cause, you know, at that time I was playing with, with, with the elders. You know, I, I, how old were you? I was, I was, I was twelve. Twelve years old, mm-hmm. and you were playing against fifteen, sixteen-year-olds. Yeah. Because you were that good. Mm-hmm. As a striker. Yeah. And that was your dream. That's what you had embedded your whole life, and you're gonna focus on football. Yeah. That was that was that was the dream. I mean, uh, I always uh, wanted to see myself playing uh, in the, in the, in the big teams, but yeah, uh, life took a huge turn. Life did take a huge turn, and we're going to get into that huge turn because Donald, I always think it's important that when we tell the story of when we're at our highest, because people look at that and they say, "Oh, look at him, he's at the top," but in order to inspire and be the people we are, we have to tell the story of when we're at our lowest. Because we've had to overcome some huge mountains for Timmy to be producing the best sports show in the country. For Malcolm to sit across from me now, pressing these buttons on Metro FM, there's had to be some mountains that have had to be overcome. And I think it is important and is within us to tell those stories. And it's something we must do and be proud of telling those stories because those hills we climbed make the view at the top so much better, don't they? We're going to take a break. When we come back... Let's go back to 12-year-old Donito. Maybe Nana uh, nickname Nana Bolo. Mendro. Mendro? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Mendro <laughs> Kimang. I don't know. I don't know. Like, they, they, they just, they, they were just calling me Mendro. I don't know what Kimang made with all that. You know, Guys, the, maybe well, there are people that know football more than <laughs> me. I don't know. I don't know. Like, Mendro Kimang. I don't know. Like, Lena Nix, one pillow, one pillow, one pillow. Robita Mendro from today, so yeah. Well, we're going to tell the story like the story of his life, where it began before we go to that one moment when, you know, the la- the ball <coughs> lands on the other side and uh, it says, you know, you're a champion of Roland Garros. There's where it started. Where is that? Let's go there. It's uh, 24 after the hour six. Uh, we've got with us uh, Roland Garros winner, South African wheelchair tennis star who won uh, Roland Garros champion in the quads, Donald Rampadi. Donald, did you also get a plate? Another day plate? Yeah, I'm going to that thing is beautiful, man. Yeah, yeah, it is. But Baba uh, Mubarak get trees. But you know, they don't know. No, no, no. Listen, they don't know. If if your house has trees like that, you've done <laughs> well in life. So yeah. Where do you keep it? Go room divide. Ah, uh, it's it's very coach. I mean, and we get get lender. He actually took it with him. So, so you get to keep that plate, cow. It's mine. Yes. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. But yeah. Donald, let's go back a little bit. You you you're a budding soccer star. You're 12 years old. Your dream in a little Doctor Kumalo, Lebo Mandro, whoever Mandro is, <laughs> that's what you're thinking. You're gonna be a huge soccer player. Uh, you want to go overseas and play football, even because you've always dreamed big, even if you were gonna play soccer. And then what? I mean, what stopped that dream? Oh, I mean, uh, I got sick, and uh, to, to be honest, even today, I'll I'll I'll, I'll never tell you what. Uh, what sickness that uh, got me at that time? Because you know, growing up, it was it was really really tough. We couldn't even um, afford like uh, proper doctors and and all that just to to check what was happening with me and all that. So we we we, uh, we went to the um, a public hospital. Um, um, they said I was I had I had a TB bone, um, and then I was given um, uh, like medication. Uh, after a year, I went to other uh, the other doctor. He was like, "This you don't have TB bone," and imagine the whole year I was drinking all that yeah. and then. Uh, but but when you say you felt sick, what 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 physically happened? Were you, you know, were you weak? Were you vom- what, what did that feel like to you as a twelve year old? What 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 did that sickness present itself in what form? So what happened is, is when I when I when I felt it, I remember very well. It was it was actually December. I was I was going to school. I was I was supposed to write a paper. I think it was the second last paper, and then um, I started feeling pain around. Uh, yeah, the groin area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was with my cousin, and then I told him that you know what I'm 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 not feeling okay. 
uh, but he 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 like helped me uh, he was walking with me to the thing to the, to, uh, to to write exam and all that i i came back it, it was it was still worse so it uh, uh from that day it just um uh started getting worse every day i start hmm. i just got a uh, week every day uh to the point whereby i couldn't even eat by myself i couldn't take myself to the thing to the toilet um i mean I think I think at the time it it was when uh, the, the the process of my bones. As you, uh, if you look at my 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 hands, I've got like the, my my hand are bent a bit. Uh, even I think that that was the process. Uh, that, that's when uh, 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 my bones were, were were bending and all that. So yeah, after um, after five years, uh, that's when I uh, I was I, I started feeling a bit strong. And then uh, um, I can imagine you're twelve years old. Mm-hmm. You to 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 what you know and what you're seeing around you with other boys. You're a normal boy, you know. You're you're playing football, mm-hmm. and your bones inside your body mm-hmm. begin to bend. Mm-hmm. I can imagine that pain. Yeah, it was. Uh, I mean, it was it was really painful. Even uh, when when they like uh, lift me up to take me to the toilet, it was it was mad, uh, thinking uh, painful. So yeah. It was really, yeah. Uh, and well, no one can explain to you what's going on with you? Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. Even now, uh, I don't know. No. Yeah. But, uh, you know, um, um, not, uh, what they say is that I've got a uh, uh, broccoli, uh, broccoli bone. Okay. So my, my, my thing, my, my bones are, are very soft. Um, they're, they're easy to break and they take, lime, uh, they take time to recover than a normal bone. Who's at home at that time? You're 12 years old. Who mm. are you living with? Who's at home? Uh, it was uh, I was uh, I grew up with my mother, uh-huh. so she was she was the one that uh, was taking care of me. And what happens to school? Do you still go to school every day? At that time? No, I had to stop. I had to stop. I had to stop, and 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 then uh, five years later, that's when the social work came and uh, to 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 to. You stopped school for five years. Yeah, yeah. So between the ages of twelve and seventeen, you're not going to school. You're just sitting at home. Yeah, yeah. Until the social worker came and then uh, she she advised my mother about uh, the disability school, whereby there's like uh, um, uh, good treatment to to people living with disability and all that. And when 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 do you realize that I'm going to be now somebody living with disability? Because I mean, you don't know anything. You don't know any better. You you see yourself as 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 you know a, a, an able body person because that's all you've ever known. Mm-hmm. When does that sit with you? When does that click, Ute man? It's no longer that anymore. You know, uh, I mean, as I said, like it, it, it kept on, 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 on uh, I kept on getting weak every day and all that, uh, to the point whereby um, I was not able to, to like, stand up. So I was, I was, I was like a sweater, like if I wanna go, uh, from I wanna go from point A to B. Uh, I will use my my bum just yeah, to get yeah. to the yeah, yeah. until until I just um, sliding through the yeah, floors yeah, to get yeah, to yeah. wherever you need to go. Yeah, until until I got a, a a wheelchair from from the hospital. That's when I knew that you know it's, it's just not happening. Yeah, I don't know. It's 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 a story that because and this is the beautiful thing about it. We know how it ends. You know, we know how it ends. We know it hasn't even ended, but we know where it goes to which is what makes it even so much better, which is what makes it. But your mother as well, I can imagine. She has no idea what's going on. Just She needs to just take care of her child, do the best she can to keep her child alive uh, and not knowing what's wrong with him. So after five years, the pain stops, everything stops. Because what happened after five years? Because that's when now you're able to go to a school, although it's a different school to what you're used to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, af- after five years, uh, uh, as I said, I was... Uh, really strong and then um but i was not the same donald remember this time and this time around i'm I'm now disabled uh i walk i get, get, get limba and all that but at least you, you can walk now. at least i can walk yeah. it's not so anymore yeah so whatever it is the bones were doing they're done doing that they're done do, yeah, yeah and they've healed in that position mm-hmm. you go to school now first day in school after five years it was, I mean, it was hey, one one of those moments that you, even today, when I think about 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 them, you know, it, it, it um, I see that you know I've I've been really through through a lot. 
you know but um being with 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 the someone like like my mother you know she 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 did a lot to be honest before she 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 passed she oh no uh, mom passed yeah yeah she she passed on um actually right right after uh, after i started working again um a couple of months down the line she she no she on. how old are you then i was 17 this was after the five years yeah so you and mom's last memories is that five years of taking care of you every day taking care of me every day i mean she she also had to like to 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 quit her job just so that she can take care of me so it was yeah crazy and obviously ma being ma having to and you you're not a small boy she had to put you on her back to carry you around the house to move you from point a to point mm -hmm. b it was it was it was really 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 crazy i mean if it, it it even gets tougher when i have to go to to a uh, physiotherapist uh uh to um because it's 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 in the villages so you know everything it's it's far yeah all that so yeah Th those are those and are there's no car at home there's no car it was so, i mean it so was, she carries you on the back to take you there yeah and that's kilometers that's kilometers did mom get a chance to ever see you with a record in your hand? Nope. Nope. I mean, that's that that's that's a uh, couple of days ago. I mean, I, I posted something on 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 Instagram that you know, uh, I hope which is she's she's actually proud of what just happened. You know, <laughs> yeah, it's getting emotional. And it should be, yeah, because I don't even know your mother, but what a woman to have raised you. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it it was it was crazy because in the in the in the house there was we didn't we didn't we didn't have a father, so she was doing everything, and when she passed on, I had to stand up. I had to to be a breadwinner in in that in that age. It was it was crazy. It was really tough. You know what's about what you've just said now it's it's metaphorically so beautiful because you literally had to stand up not just you know in saying what yeah i stand no you physically had to stand up beyond your illness you had to stand up yeah i mean uh, and and uh, one one thing that it was it was really at the time i was i was i was i was getting grant so it was i was sharing it with my my young sisters um Cause yeah are you the oldest? Yeah, I'm the I'm the I'm, I'm the firstborn. So there's your your father was never there. Your mother quit her job to raise you. You start getting that. Your mom passes. Yep. Now you are the head of the family. Yep. That's how it was. Rosina Lipuling. Mm -hmm. Those are your sisters. Yep. How old are they when your mom passes? Oh, they were they were they were very young, and I rem I, I remember. Buleng is the youngest. I th I, th I think she was. Oh, probably twelve, thirteen. She was. She was. She was really. I don't remember how old she was, but she well, was. Rosina really must have been twelve, thirteen. Yes. Which means because Buleng is what nineteen now. Mm -hmm. She was. She was four, if yeah. even. Yeah. She was really, really young. How do you even begin to take care of a four-year-old? It was crazy. I mean, uh, you know, um, Rosina. She's 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 actually a strong woman. Uh, I will ask, ask. Cause uh, when I, I was I was studying in in Sushanguri, so she would uh, take take care of of pulling, and in that age it was it was crazy. So yeah. <laughs> Look at you. What's your mom's name? I want you to say her full name. Um, Jabolina Rampari. Because they must know. Jabolina mm. Rampari raised a lion. We're telling a story, Donald, because there's somebody sitting there right now who feels 
they've got nowhere to go, who feels the world is on their shoulders, but they haven't gone a percentage over what you have had to go through. And we're saying, here's a story of a young man who had the world on his shoulders, literally squashing him down, not allowing him to rise, but he was able to rise through that. Uh, we need to take a break. Um, have some water. It's 6.36. It's uh, stories about South Africans untold. It's the show that you stop us on the roads when we're traveling and you give us hugs and you cry with us for because you tell us about the inspiration that it's brought in your life and the change that it's brought in your life. That change bringer today is Donald Rampadi, an absolute maverick, an amazing young man at 30 years old. He is a Roland Garros champion in the quads. But that victory, that hunger to succeed comes from such a deep place. I can't wait to one day see the Netflix documentary or the SABC sports documentary for that matter on Donald Rampadi because it is one that is going to outlive all of us here in the story that it is. Uh, Komi, I completely agree with you. Today is something special. Speaking of special, your sister and you share a very special relationship. I mean, you just mentioned her now, even Rosina. She's the core of who you are the two of you together you you know you're you're a tag team that's amazing what is it about your sister that draws strength from you or that you draw strength from i think i think um uh she's 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 actually uh she 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 just got um this thing man you know she 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 takes she 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 got a lot from 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 my mother you know she she she's a fighter she doesn't she she doesn't give up so so you know cuz as i said at the, at the time when i was in social um um uh get on a school she was back then uh going to school taking care of bullying you know it was it was just a lot for her at that age but you know she's unbelievable and she's unbelievable who's the first person you called you've won Roland Garros now you or a French champion. Who's the first person you called? Um, uh, I, 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 didn't, I didn't call. I didn't call them actually. I, 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 I talked to Bouling uh -huh. on, on your youngest on, sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. she's she's more active and and social medias and whatever. Rosina, she's busy, man. She's she's not there. She's. Do you know where she is though, Rosina? Mm -hmm. She's on the line right now. Rosina. Hello. How are you? Yeah. I've got your brother here. We're celebrating him. We're saying to him that uh, his story is going to change lives one day. And in saying that, he brings you up and he says no. And that's a that, that that's a mark of a of of a champion. He's not, it's not about me. He says he says you should see my sister. What can you tell us about this amazing man sitting here? wrong mm mm yeah, and I'm um, discouraging. I keep saying, "Come on." How many times we Roland Garros? Get up and let's have a little bit of fun. Let's have a little bit of fun. Let's have a little bit of fun. Kerli and I are proud to go to the especially a whole. But I wish you almost to the South Africa you would say it a little bit. How many of you are proud of your life? How proud you are? Please, this is your moment. Speak to your brother, Rosina. What would you like to say? Sorry, can I take over? She sent over one because the emotions. She's really crying. She I'm your sister. Oh, hello. Puleng, how are you? I'm okay. Oh, Rosina's overwhelmed with emotions, I understand. But also, I mean, you should be proud as well. 
Yeah, I'm very proud. Tell me about the moment you found out that your brother's a champion. The moment I found out, I'm, I'm actually on Facebook, like she said. So she said, so I saw the post, one post, glory, he's won. So immediately when I found out, like, wow, I couldn't believe it. I, I video called him and found him, and at the video caller, he was lying in bed as I said, he lay and had <laughs> Listen, uh, Puleng, yes. you, you are going to be an amazing person as well because your brother and your sister, what they've gone through to make sure that you're the young lady that you are now is something that is going to make for a beautiful story when you achieve everything that you need to achieve in life as well. Thank you for you and your entire family for sharing the story with us. Jonathan, say anything to your brother before we say goodbye? Congratulations, bro. We are really proud of you. It's so old because you've been through a lot. And I like how you were never discouraged by what other people said about you, telling you to give up, but you are today a champion. Good luck, champ. Thank you. I love you. I love you too. <sighs> Thank you, Puleng. I appreciate Thank you. you. Thank you so much. It's 6.46. Donald Rampadi is with us, South African wheelchair tennis star. An amazing young man that has done wonders with his career and with his life. A Roland Garros champion. I'm going to give him time. Uh and myself to get over the emotions. Um, but uh, give us a call. Talk to the champ. 086-000-2160. Your voice notes are coming in thick and fast on 60 7303 It's 1845, and it's your turn. Evening, Miss Andy. Yes, Pashan Dusanj from Duval, yeah? What an emotional interview having with uh, uh, our champions, Donald, yeah. A congratulations to him, yeah. He went, uh, humble beginnings, uh, what he went through to become greater as he is now, yeah. I think, yeah, it is a story that uh, have to be looked out. It does have a book, a document that even a move for me, I think so. Mm -hmm. And inspiration for a nation, yeah, a disabled guy went so far. Big up, Joshua. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I want to take all the calls um, because I think it's worthy of it. Let's go to, is it Lunga in Rudiport? Lunga? Uh, good, good. good afternoon, Andile. Hey, man. And the team. Champ. Uh, uh, Hola. Uh, congratulations, uh, Donald, you say, too. Uh, but hey, what about Tours of Brawaga? evoke a lot in, in us, I think. It's, uh, it's one of the most... Uh, 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 no. Uh, um, I, uh, uh, congratulations. I was working on delay. I'm sorry, my brother. I'm emotional and now myself. Um, I can tell the situation around. I'm sorry to go out of football in his bit, but Kara situation really on a Kara economy Ramaphosa, but we also start encouraging a story from Donald. You put that together, overlooked grateful as a person. You know what? We can do it. But other than that, my brother, congratulations and thank you for putting us on the map internationally. Uh, keep going, my brother. Uh, oh, Luna. I don't know what that sound effect is there when uh, Malcolm, but let's go to Shadrach out in Soshanguva. Shadrach? Shadrach's line is, is it gone? Okay, cool. Uh, we'll go to Masachaba. Masachaba is in Winchester. Masachaba? Yeah, were you? Uh, I'm inspired. I'm fine, thanks as well. Like, I was so emotional. Abuti Tonaldi, how are you? Congratulations. And as I was driving, I was driving from work, um, I just got emotional hearing your story. But what I can say to you is that you're a fighter. Like Andrea said, you're a lion. 
And what I love about your story is that you never gave up. Even after Mama passed away, you never gave up. And you took Mama's death and made it your strength because Mama mm. had dreams for you. And you were like, you know what, I'm going to make you proud, even in heaven. I'm going to make you proud. And I love how your sisters have been supportive of your journey and how you don't leave them out um, on this journey, you know, and the love you have for each other. As siblings, the love that you guys have. And to the little sister, Wahao, what a beautiful little girl. What a beautiful little girl. You should be proud of yourself, Donald. Your sister as well, the other sister, as much as she was emotional, it is an emotional um, journey story that you guys have been through. But what I can say to you guys is I'm with you guys. Once again, champ, congratulations. Andiles, thank you so much for bringing such stories to us. Have a good evening. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. And it's important because this story needs to be told to the whole world. I hope that one day we get the chance to tell the story to the whole world. Um, let's go to Smongelin. Smongelin is out in the KZN. Smo. Oh, Njani, Njani, Ma'a. Hey, you're right, man. Where are you? Yeah, I'm going to tell Hey, what a touching story, Ma'a. Hey, but I'm going to go to congratulations to the champ. I wish Uncle Uncle Eng at the Angamupa strength. So I could be in the family, no, yeah, it was an emotional interview, and we have feared to see Swake in the la de Kalangayo, and they will always keep on pushing him to make sure that he do well in the competition. And I wish him nothing but the best, Maha. Well, all the way in case I appreciate you. Nigel is in Rustenburg. Nigel? Andile, how are you? Hey, I'm always strong. A good, good man. Thanks for taking my call. Uh, Mr. Donald, um, I want to say to you, you are a living testimony. Uh, if I go to the Bible, we have a man who was called Job. He lost everything that he had. He went through a lot of things. Then God blessed him at the end. You are another testimony in our lifetime. And I want to tell you one thing again. When, when for us to have pure gold, it goes through a, a, a lot of fire so that we can have pure gold. Today, you are pure gold. Thank you for, for, for raising Africa's flag high. Thank you for, for having a, a, a very emotional, inspirational story. And Adele, thank you for bringing uh, Mr. Donald uh, to us. Uh, this, this, these are the things that we need to hear every day. Mm. It affects uh, uh, it inspires us. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Donald. We are all emotional. Yeah, what a story, what a story. Thank you. I appreciate it, Nigel, all the way in Rustenburg. Let's go to Centurion. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, no, where are we going? Is it Centurion? The chairman is there. Chairman? Hi, Andy. Hey. Uh, ben, Lodwick, yeah. I'm sitting inside the car. Donald. My champ, you made me cry, literally. Because your story really evoked a lot of, from some of us. But what I can tell you is, I usually tell people that nobody cares about your story until you win. Today you are the champ, and everybody knows about your story. And your story is giving most of us hope. Uh, I'm also from the villages. I know, I know how difficult it is. But Donald, my dear brother, when your sisters were in tears, I knew exactly w- where they are coming from. But for me, I'm saying, it leads you home, and now we know about your story. A lot of people out there who, who shares your story, who shares what we are going through, have got hope. Thank you very much, Andrew, for bringing the chant in the studio. Oh, thank you so much, Chairman. I really appreciate it. Let's go to Tim Bisa now. West is there. West? Hi, Andy Le. Hey, can I tell you, before you speak, West, we've hey. never, Donald, ever in the history of this show, had calls this many when we've had a guest in studio. We've had uh, presidents, chairmen, the biggest soccer stars. It's never yeah. been like this. I can tell you that now. Your story resonates with South Africa. West? Sure. Andy Le, uh, Donald, 
uh, I must say, and like you said, even the president has never pulled so much call. Then I can say Donald is a president. I mean, if 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 can look at what he has done, I mean, we always have so many fallen heroes, and I mean, you become a hero again, like they say. Kasepe, if you will, uh, you need to, you know, you need to stand up and and, and face the world. And Donald, you are you are a living legend, and I think outside everything, I mean, everybody can learn from you. West in Timbisa, always appreciate you. Let's go to Petal in Pumalanga. Sitle is there, Sitle. Good to have one. Get born now. Hey, but uh, Mr. T, yeah, my guy. <laughs> Yo, you know, you know, Andy, like, uh, 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 I, 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 I was, I was driving, like, when, when you are in the, in, in the middle, you know, out of the con- of the interview, I pumekelen, but I had to just listen, gosh, but you know, um, what an emotional interview, but you know, um, Mr. D, look, man, Roman eight verse twenty eight says, all things work together for good. Mm. For those who trust in the Lord, all things. Now we can all it all and It means everything that we go we go through is the ingredient of what everyone will clap hands for at the later stage. Mm. I don't want to say much. You know where I am. This is enough. But you know what? If I was on a pulpit, I would have said, "Amen." Hey, this is what we'll you give want it to, to you. Hear. We'll give it to you. Amen, Sister. Thank you so Amen. much. I appreciate it. Let's go to the last voice note before we say our goodbyes. Sure, so well. I sh my aunt's it's a won't be to moko more. I na Araba Tsuba Bao Fauna too much you could show like a killer one. Araba Tsuba Bawa too much about phone about comment a Maria today. I'm being jagged today in Kaka for sure. I got my mates and machi down so I had to get a little bit. I want to feel like I give a shabby little machi that I had to get a little bit. I'm fit. I show boy. I'm going to win a Roland Garras. Ah, win jumping jack. Keep it up. I know you came here to celebrate something. But what you actually came here to do was inspire a nation. Somebody called in and said, Andile, with everything that we're going through right now, with everything that we're looking at in the economy, in the country, geez, for the first time I have hope. For me, that one person is enough. For this show to have been worth it. I appreciate you, my brother. I look at you where you are now with better understanding. From Gomorrah to Betal to KZN, right now they're telling the story of why are you sitting here claiming that there's nothing to do? Do you know, Donald? Your story is going to be a prophecy and we appreciate you. Thank you very much.